What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video by me, Tina. OG K pop stands since 1998. Guess what? I am checking out day six. Freaking finally. I say finally a lot, but this one deserves a freaking finally. Because I've heard of day six in my request for quite some time and I just kept pushing them back because all these new groups are coming. And I know Sungmin from Stray Kids are actually a lot of people have been telling, or it's not like someone talked to me, but are saying that day six are just really talented and just really good music. And I know that my channel, I do a lot of dance review stuff, but that doesn't mean that I don't know how to appreciate stuff that doesn't have dance in it. So uh, since it's been quite a damn long time for me to finally get to this, I'm gonna stop talking and check out their music video, the most requesting music video, which is Zombie. So here we go with day six's zombie music video. Quick pause. If y'all been enjoying the things that I've been doing here on my YouTube, please hit the thumbs up button. That gives me a good idea on what y'all like and what y'all kind of like. Feel free to also subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay super updated with some new things. I also now have a Patreon as well where I make reactions and reviews to live performances, shows, and whatnot upon y'all's requests on there. The link to my Patreon is in my description box below. Hi, right, let's get it. Okay, first of all, I really like the layers of the music that I'm hearing. How in the beginning you hear that doom, tum, 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 whatever you hear, and then they add on that piano and the keys kind of, or the sound of the piano kind of elongates. It just creates this nice, just nice beat that's carrying throughout and they're just singing along with it. And, okay, okay, I'm talking too much already. I just wanted to point that out. His voice has such a natural rawness to it. Beautiful. First of all, I like how they did that sunken kind of face look to represent a zombie, you know, when we're doing a life that's very uh, predictable from what I remember how I used to have a certain kind of life where for years I did the same thing every day, woke me the same thing. It works for some people. It didn't work for me and it definitely made me feel zombied out. I like that concept, the deep circles, talk about running in circles all day and night. And even the way he's walking to work or whatever he's doing, he has a very zombie-like stance. Mmm, concept. And his, his voice, these voices. Oh gosh, this is deep. When I think back to how I was back whenever things were just always the same, it's just like a, at a standstill constantly, it definitely tugged at my mental state. So I like that the song is like a little voice in you trying to cry out for help or trying to tell you, hey, why, how did this happen? Yeah, this is, this is beautiful. A zombie walk. Okay, now I'm, I'm realizing another thing about using the title zombie being brilliant to symbolize what they're trying to say, the message, the message that they're trying to say about this. Because zombies, you know, it's a living dead. They're living, but they don't have a brain. And somewhere they're talking about how they're like, they feel like the scarecrow without a brain. <sighs> okay, day six. So 
why it opened in the dark. That's so good. I really like the scenes too, these scenes too, how it's like very, uh, almost time lapsey. It's just basically very metaphoric of somebody being that kind of life or that kind of mental state. Time is very irrelevant because your mental state is not aware of time because it's so troubled. So I like the way it's visually portrayed here. Holy wow, the way it's streaming down is, oh my god, that's beautiful. So you see how it's the water going over the window and the different, like, because he's standing behind the window, so it kind of looks like tears actually falling on his face, but in reality, it's not. It's just the look of it. And it totally goes with him saying, give me back my tears, they run dry, because it's like, I'm crying, but I have no tears coming out. Oh my gosh, oh, this is really good. Seriously. And shout out to you, all this musical instrument talent. Drifting aimless. Oh my god, I see more of like tying in things. How I mentioned about the tears. He would talk about drifting aimlessly. And then now that there were so much tears to be to cry and it's like flooding the place, you see like the frames drifting. Oh, this is art. Wow. Oh, that font looks reminds me of The Walking Dead. Zombie is probably the perfect thing for me to see what they're all about because the lyrics first, yeah, the lyrics first tugged, tugged in my heart strings, my brain strings, if you want to say as well. Two, musical talent. That's always going to be a plus. I played the violin for eight years. I always give respect to all musicians, whatever instrument it is. It takes a lot. Three, their freaking vocals. Four, I just love how the scenes were shot. Just a lot of symbolism to go with the lyrics and really express the message that they're trying to say or the message that they're trying to highlight. And I really like that they make awareness of this, that for the people like me, example, if this kind of life zombied you out, didn't really make you have a life although you're living, you need to be aware of that so you can either accept being in that state or wanting to make a change. So, okay day six, I, I see you, day six fans, what should I check out next by them after seeing this? I, I'm very highly impressed by this, so um, yeah, please let me know, I will definitely consider doing a lot more day six. All right guys, well thank you so much for checking out this video here with me on my YouTube. I hope you have a great day and until the next one coming up,